so water is like my absolute fear like I I'm not a swimmer I'm not a fan so in today's video we are going to face this fear of riding this snowboard thanks K2 over a river and try not to drown and float away Let's see how it goes So the biggest challenge we're facing right now and we're trying to scope out is we need a lot of speed to get across the river, but then the river has to be deep enough so when we go across the river, we don't hit any rocks and blow out this board, catch an edge, fall in the river and float away. So we're scoping this spot out. It's freaking beautiful out though. We're definitely not complaining about that. So as I'm setting this whole like river crossing thing up, in my mind, I'm thinking about how the heck can I get the most amount of speed possible to give me enough momentum, of course, to get over the, the river, but the goal is to not get so much pressure down on the river, it's gotta be skimming across the river so that I can get my momentum across, right? So that's the whole goal. So what we're doing is we're packing out a path leading into this thing. We're gonna go around this tree, we're gonna go over this roll, and then hopefully, the goal is to get across the river. And like I said, I am terrified of swimming. It is not my favorite thing in the world. I like literally like doggy paddle, like panic, like it's it's miserable. I go cliff jumping. The cliff doesn't scare me. It's the the, the swimming back to shore that freaks me out. So yeah, a, a little a little nerve wracking. Uh, obviously we could have chose a little bit further down, but then it was so thin. So we need to choose a deeper spot. Now I don't think I'm gonna die or anything, but you know, I don't wanna get wet, it's cold out, it's freaking miserable, and that doesn't sound sick either. So, all right, we're gonna keep grinding, creep building, and see if we can do some stuff across this river. Well, at least that's the goal. If you guys want me to elevate the content and make it better than ever, picking up a sticker actually is helpful and really does help elevate the content. So if you guys wanna to, want to pick up a sticker, check these stickers out right here. They're pretty freaking awesome. And then of course, when I see you with a sticker out in the mountain, I'm like, dude! So pick up a sticker, help support the channel. You guys are amazing, back at it. So that last one was way too slow. And if the audio sounds different, I'm on a different camera. But the last one was way too slow. We're gonna have to get a lot more speed. I'm gonna try to hike this bad, 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 bad boy up a little bit further. Try to send it a little bit more. You ready? You ready? Three, two, one, drop in. All right, we're testing it out a little faster. Oh, we're cooking. We're not cooking. We're kind of cooking. We would not have made it. When I was like six or seven years old, I went to like a water park and I went into like one of those big waves where you like go in and you're supposed to have a good time. I had like a near death experience where I was literally panicking and panicking and like taking in water and my head would come above and there's a lifeguard absolutely not looking at me. And I remember just coughing, choking, water everywhere. And eventually that person grabbed me and saved me. So that's like where my like fear comes from is just like, Fear of water, you know, it's like I had this gnarly thing when I was a kid and then just always hated getting into water after that. So I've never really spent a lot of time in water and probably a lot of you guys are like, oh, I love water. Man, it freaks me out. So that's of course what I'm thinking about as I drop into this thing. I'm just like, I don't think I'm gonna drown, but I get like a little flashbacks. And the funny thing is I haven't thought about that flashback in freaking 20 years, you know, but it's still there. Gonna hike back up, give this one more shot, run it in one more time, and then at some point, we're gonna have to go for the leap of faith and send it. That's not convincing, so we're gonna have to run it again, and we just gotta get a little more speed. You gotta feel like you're mobbing into this thing, and uh, maybe play Clash Clans on the way. Right, Sean? He's, he's about Clash Clans. Okay, that right there gives me a lot of confidence. Let's freaking go. Uh, good thing there was this. Thank you, nature, I love you. And then I was also decided that walking on the side of the path, making a completely new path to walk in, it just smooths it out and every little bit of speed that I can get is gonna be a big, big deal. 
And then you realize that it's uh, about 9,000, maybe nine, 10,000 feet where I'm at right now. And you realize that every step is a, a freaking, a lot of work. Ready? Three, two, one, go. That's quick. <laughs> all right, here's the deal. I don't want to waste my energy going all the way around. I'm already tired. <sighs> Rip. Way better. Right, first attempt, not so bad. Got a little bucked right here, had too much of a little bump in it. And it's hard to judge until you actually do it. And then the next run, smooth it out so it's a nice smooth running. Like I said, it's trial and error, but at the same time you want to get it right early as possible so that you're not floating right in a river. Next, we can try to set it a little bit further. And unfortunately, that is our clock that's ticking down. It's gonna get shady and cold, so we're trying to, we're gonna make some moves. I'm gonna go hike up running and try it again. I gotta go fast! <laughs> so I was watching a YouTube video last night and they were saying if you have a fear, you should just conquer it. So I think I'm gonna try to go find a deep spot in the river and go lay in it. And try not to panic and try not to die and know that I'm gonna be okay. Uh, it's probably not a good idea. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, I felt like I, I felt like I felt like I was floating. Oh I feel like I went rat. <laughs> my leg can't breathe. I thought I was floating. You didn't move. You were like stuck on something and you didn't go anywhere. You didn't move, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's like probably below freezing that water. Oh, it's dipping into my underwear. Oh. It's like being in Oregon all over again. <laughs> Brings me back to my roots. Oh, that was such a disappointment too. That was so bad. Oh, oh, I don't want to move. Oh, I do not want to move one bit because I know it's going to like shake and shake everything up. A little, dis Whoa! a little disappointed that I wasn't able to get the flip around. You know, it's probably a bit of a pipe dream. Cause there's no chance I actually had a landing or anything. But sometimes you gotta go for it, you know? It's soft, consequences aren't really there. So overall, that session was pretty awesome. It was pretty fun being able to like hang out with the friends, vibe, have them make fun of me, conquer something. So overall, it's pretty cool. Oh, rip. So heavy, this thing is at least like 49 pounds. Oh. oh, also, I wear a back protector. If you break your back like me, you don't want to do it twice. By the way, if you're looking for 10% off any 686 stuff, you're looking for pants, jackets, Gore-Tex stuff, looking for anything like that, I got a 10% discount code down link in the description below. If you're looking for friends, go hang out with some friends in Discord, ask questions, get up some meetups. We're gonna go uh, jump in a hot tub because I'm freaking cold. <laughs>